Hello everybody, Tohimi Pro here. Today I'm going to be trying to give you the most in-depth loot guide that I can give you for Daisy standalone. We are going to be starting with civilian loot. Residential buildings make up the majority of the buildings in towns and cities. Residential buildings are divided into three types of houses. One level buildings only have food and drink and they don't always even have loot. The buildings that I am showing you right now are the only ones which you would want to spend time searching if you even want to search them. This is a one level building which at the moment does not have any loot so you would just want to not go in there. Level 2 buildings are better than the level 1 buildings as they have stuff but they're normally miscellaneous things like clothing, food, they don't always have stuff, and they sometimes have melee weapons. And there is a tiny chance of getting a gun, but it's very low. I don't. I never found a gun in these buildings. The following buildings that I have on your screen are only spawn things like clothing and food, and they, like the other ones, they don't always spawn loot. Apartment buildings are not really worth looting because they don't normally have a large amount of loot. However, they are. You know, good places to hide and snipe from, but other than that, I mean, this is a looting guide, so that's pretty irrelevant. Another type of civilian loot spawn is the office building. One of them is known as the um, school, and it is from D the Daisy mod for Arma 2. And the other one is called the tech building because there's a large sign that says tech on the side of it, and it looks a lot like a hospital. Office buildings generally spawn mid-tier weapons like the IZH-43 shotgun and the Mosin. Uh, everyone knows what the Mosin is if you play DayZ, but uh, it's a good, like, rifle. And along with um, a lot of ammunition, food, water, and clothing. However, I would recommend this for a noob or someone who didn't go to a military place yet because obviously... A military place would have better loot than civilian areas. The next type of civilian loot spawn are supermarkets. Supermarkets are located in towns and cities. Not all of them, but some of them. They are pretty, uh, you know, they're pretty common, but they're good for um, newbies. Uh, they have basic weapons like the Mosin, baseball bat, kitchen knife, IZH-43, as well as the ammunition for those firearms. They also spawn various backpacks, maps, small protector cases, various gas canisters and portable gas stoves, and they also spawn canteens, soda cans, canned goods, and I, I did find um, a med kit, which is pretty good because they contain bandages and all that stuff you need if you get injured in Daisy. The next category of loot are industrial buildings. The first type of industrial building is the construction site. The construction site spawns miscellaneous uh, industrial loot, which is pretty much like uh, melee weapons, uh, hard hats, motorcycle helmets, uh, clothes, and other stuff that you could find in residential houses. The next type of industrial building loot spawn is factories. Factories um, mostly spawn weapons, food, and sometimes medical equipment, and they're found in almost every big city, so finding them is not going to be very hard. However, I personally want to warn that I got stuck in, uh, and, uh, in like a certain room in a factory, so I couldn't get out, so just be careful about those stuff. A storage unit is very common, however, depending on where you, the storage unit is, it can have um, clothing, food, or military loot, but the military loot part is only if you're near a military base, so, you know, use common sense and if it's worth looting or not. The warehouse can be found, uh, you know, pretty often, and they do contain mostly clothing, melee weapons, and some very basic equipment items. Workshops pretty much only spawn ri a rifle and a scattered um, random industrial loot, um, but the rifle can usually be taken by another player. But 
it's worth checking out if you're a beginner in a fresh spawn. Our next loot category are agricultural buildings. The only two agricultural buildings are barns and cow sheds. Both of them only spawn random industrial loot, clothing, and basic wef weapons like the Mosin and the IZH-43. Now this section is going to be pretty uh, advanced for more advanced players, so that is going to be general military. Our first type of general military are ATCs, otherwise known as air traffic control towers. Air traffic control towers are spawned at pretty much any airfield, obviously, because they're air traffic control towers, and they spawn general military loot. You can find guns and stuff in there as well as uh, gun parts, military clothing, as well as a lot of ammo. Our next, our next type of general military loot is the barracks. The barracks um, spawns a high amount of ammo and weapons as well as military clothing. However, sometimes it can be found under beds, so make sure to go into first person and check out under the beds of the barracks. Now we have the fire station. The fire station can be found sometimes at military locations, however, uh, there are fire stations at a lot of um, towns and cities. They are a good place for noobs to get good weapons and gear because they um, drop an FNX-45, a magnum. They have some tools, medical supplies, as well as a lot of clothing and ammunition. The next type of um, general military loot are the hangars. The hangars are found at airfields and they do contain a little bit of military loot so it's worth checking out if you're already there. However, they don't have as much as other buildings, but they do spawn things like uh, attachments for weapons and military clothing. Now we have helicopter crash sites. Helicopter crash sites are the only place to find the M4A1 and its attachments at the version that it, that this video is uploaded at for Daisy Standalone. And it there's only three that are fixed, and they can they're at the south swamp area south of Belota. There, there's also one close to the Riffy shipwreck site, and there's one in the abandoned town of Q Marina. However, those are not guaranteed to spawn M4s. The ones that are that not necessarily guaranteed, but the ones that are more likely to spawn M4s, they're randomly on, the, there's three, they spawn three that are randomly on the map, and yeah, they're three per, per restart. They change every time the server restarts. Now we have the military tents. The military tents are usually, um, there's one found near Northwest Airfield, and they're usually right next to military bases. And you can tell they're large green tents, and they have uh, military loot spawns, but not as much as the bigger military bases. But they would um, spawn maybe some weapons and ammo and stuff. Now we have the police stations. Police stations are found in most towns and cities, and they have um, good military loot for beginners. However, if you are, um, you know, already looted a lot of military places, they're best for um, uh, weapon attachments as well as ammo. Now we have the prisons. The prisons, also known as command centers, spawn military loot such as uh, weapons, ammo, and military clothing. And they're generally found at airfields and military bases. And they're worth checking out if you're already there because they can spawn some good stuff. And they also spawn first aid and medical supplies, as well as food once in a while. Okay, our last loot category is the medical places. And there are three types of medical places. Those are hospitals, medical centers, and medical tents. Hospitals are big and they're found in cities and they have a lot of uh, medical equipment and first aid kits. Medical centers um, are pretty similar, however, a little bit smaller and stuff. So I'll have one on the screen and they have a little less uh, loot in terms of uh, medical stuff. But the final um, medical loot is the, mil is the medical tent, that which are found in military camps, and they contain some military supplies. 
Okay, so that's it for the main section of this video, which basically told you about all of the loot that you would find in the buildings. Um, so sometimes I had to just uh, kind of generalize all of them because they all spawn similar stuff. So please forgive me for that. Now we're gonna be ha I'm gonna give you some general looting tips, and the only ones I can really give you is to not really go into houses which already have the door open because that means the player was here recently. And if you are inside of a house, close the door behind you and close the door after you were there because uh, it would kind of throw off other players so they wouldn't spend as much time near you because it would be looting the houses you already looted. So, which means they wouldn't be getting stuff, so, yeah. Another thing is to look under beds when you're in, uh, police stations, military bases, and, uh, fire stations. I'm not sure if there's beds in fire stations, but look under the beds, because they, there's sometimes weapons and stuff. So you have to go into first person and just go prone. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want me to do a part two or any other guides for Daisy Standalone or any other videos for Daisy Standalone. And also let me know if you want me to check out any of the, you know, spin off mods for Arma 2 that are Daisy related. So yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe, everybody. Peace.